Hello, this is Mike and Paul's here too from Hollow Labs, and we're going to demo you Papercade. So Papercade, we kind of like to call it um, Little Big Planet meets Instagram or Pinterest. So it's kind of a social game making platform where you can make games uh, that are kind of these exploratory game worlds um, represented representative of, of diorama or paper craft. And it's like you see in this in this in this box here, and I'm going to start by showing you the creation process. And so, when you create uh, papercade games, you can start from a template. So there's a bunch here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the street scene. And like I said, it's kind of uh, what you want to do is make adventure games or in the style of adventure games. So here's. The, our scene, it's a little 3D world, there's a character that comes, this is the default character, and the character, uh, the, the mechanics for playing this, I'm in preview mode and I'm walking around and I can go and explore this, this world. And right now there's nothing in this world uh, because this is, uh, this is just the template. So let's hit edit and we're going to um, add some stuff to this world. So, um, well, in edit mode, so I'm in edit mode now, and I can grab things, and I can move them around. Um, I can uh, open up this library here, and in the library, there's a whole bunch of 3D objects that uh, come bundled with Papercade. There's also some 2D sort of cutout pieces of paper, like uh, paper-like objects, like this broccoli, for example. And uh, you can adjust the parameters of these. If you don't like the broccoli image, you can switch it out for um, any of these things. So here I put a, put you know a person here in the middle of the scene. And so in an event, in an adventure game, what you'd like to do is kind of uh, develop a story or a narrative, and um, so have characters that you'd go up to and talk to and uncover parts of the story. And so the, the system that we have for this is the story point system. So story points are ways of sort of adding um, narrative components to objects in the scene. And so there's many type of, types of story points. Uh, you can, the typical type is a, a story pop-up. So, it, you know, uh, the character would have a, a bit of text to show you or an image sort of in the style of, of uh, gone home or something like that. And, uh, but you could also link to other chapters or uh, there's a bunch of other types of story points you can add. But I'm going to do the, the, just the text pop-up. And we're working on an editor where you can arrange, arrange images and photographs in here. So um, who's, what's this character going to say? Um, maybe something like, I saw something by the Newsstand. Oops, I forgot the W. There we go. So that's what that character will say. And uh, so the newsstand is over here. And I guess I should put another object somewhere by the newsstand. So let's look in the library and see what I can find. Um, maybe I'll take a, an apple and I'll hide it behind behind the newsstand. So our character won't be able to see it right away. And so I'll add another story point to this, this apple. So when the character finds this apple, um, they see the message that says something simple like, you win, right? And so now if we go and play this game, you'll see um, that there's two story points to collect. So we have zero of two. And what you would do now is go around and try to find out um, what, uh, where, uncover this narrative. So if I tap on that character, the character tells me I saw something by the newsstand. And so which means, and I've collected one out of the two story points. So if I go to uh, behind the newsstand, I see the apple and I tap on that and it says you win and I get my second story point. So it's an example of making a simple game and obviously we could 
we could continue here and uh, remove objects. I can remove this tree, for example. I can add a whole bunch of other stuff and really start to personalize this. Um, and then once you're done creating a game, you would publish it. So let's, uh, let's give this game a title. So let's call it uh, Big Apple. And you can add it in, in a description as well if you want, but we'll just leave that for now. And we hit publish. And so um, when we return to the menu, I'll show you now the uh, where that published game ended up is in this community feed. And so, like I said before, the community feed, uh, it represents examples of, of games that uh, have been made by my followers. And this is a sort of social platform for making games. So you can see that I have several friends who have made games. There's one here, which actually has nine story points. So it has a little bit of a more um, elaborate narrative. Uh, this one, a this doggy one has 15, so we could continue to build these games and, and develop them. And so, Paul, it looks like you've made me a game here called The Mana. It says, the description says, it's a game that I made for my friend Mike to help him find a secret mana. And there's three story points in this game that we have to uncover. So let's, let's play this and see what it's like. So um, uh, let's start. And so it says, help, fight, help Mike find the secret mana. And there, you can see up in the corner that there's three, three story points that we need to uncover. So we can see that he used a different template here than we used before. And uh, he's placed in a whole bunch of objects, trees, and, and things. And actually, he's customized the character as well. He's put my face on the character with a nice pinstripe suit. And so I can walk around this environment looking for looking for things to discover. And I see Paul over there, and he, there's a question mark. I'm going to tap that. He says, hello, you should talk to Rabbit if you're looking for something. And it looks like I've discovered my first story point. OK, cool. So let's see if I can find Rabbit. Here's Rabbit. You can find all sorts of magics at Hollow Labs. The entrance is in the back, and I have my second story point. Uh, I see Hollow Labs over there. Let's go see if I can find the last. So let's zoom in here and look around. So I see the picture in the, on the wall of the Hollow Labs team. So Paul has added in a bunch of these images uh, himself from, from his photographs. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I think that poutine is probably the last and final Story point, and I found the secret mana. He knows that I like poutine, and that's uh, three out of three. So I could go back and back to the menu and play more games uh, now, or one of the key features of Paper Kid is this ability to recraft. So I'm gonna go and recraft this this scene. And uh, what we're really looking to do with Paper Kid is, is create a platform where people can sort of start games and, and work on them together and collaboratively create uh, these adventure game worlds. And so by recrafting this game, I can sort of expand on Paul's story. And so I can go in and I can uh, select objects like this, this deer, and I can uh, make them bigger, uh, change it for a piece of cake or something like that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you the photo importing tool. And I think a, you know, a great way to do that, I'll take Paul's head here and I could just change his head for somebody else's, like George W. Bush, but we have an importing tool where you can import from your camera roll or take a photo live on the spot, or we're planning to uh, include um, access to photographs from social feeds like uh, Facebook or Flickr and things like that. Um, so I happen to have a picture of Astrid. She works with us here at Hollow Labs, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put her face on that character. So I'll see if I can just cut out her face and look at some of the detail in her eyes. So really we're trying to make tools as simple and quick as possible um, so you can really quickly add photographs into your scenes and it's not a bad job. I could have probably done a better job if I spent a few more minutes. But so you see I've started to 
customize the scene, add my own elements, change what Paul has done. And so what we're really trying to do with Papercade is make sort of this new platform for, for expression through game making. And uh, uh, like I said earlier, this, this notion of, of an Instagram for games is really fascinating to us, where, whereas Instagram sort of lets you lets you be creative and lets you express yourself through photos and uploading things. It tends to be very, a very representational form of, of expression. And with games, our goal is to let people create these, these uh, scenes or these, these uh, worlds where there's agency and where, where the players can go in and make choices and, and have the feeling of the consequences of their, uh, of, of their actions. Uh, by playing these different games and making the games together um, is a way to collaboratively express um, express things through games. So that's it. That's Papercade. Thank you very much.